What's up, you guys? So, my room is right here. Mab is asleep. So, he went to sleep an hour and 15 minutes ago. We're going out of town tomorrow. But these are not our out of town bags. <clears throat> these are our out of town bags from two weekends ago. And Mab is asleep, so it's dark in there. So, I'm gonna have to figure something out. I think for his stuff, because all his stuff is clean here, so I'm pretty sure I can just send the same stuff. Here's that I, I have like three baskets of laundry in there. I've just, <clears throat> I've not been motivated already to do anything or to prepare anything to go out of town for Thanksgiving. It's just, I've been just really extremely overwhelmed. Mm. So, yeah, um, so we're going to be out of town for five days. And all right, we got a sleeper, so I'm gonna have to pack him actually more stuff than this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, these bags have literally been sitting here for the past two weeks because I just feel like I can't get caught up on anything. I feel like things have just been a lot recently and it's just, it's just a little bit too much for me. So I just left it alone. I had to just <clears throat> tackle one thing at a time because I cannot do it. So right now it's looking like we've got two sleepers. Oh yeah, I have to just pack out here in the hall because I'm not disturbing this baby's sleep. Sleep training, we had a nightmare last time. If you saw the video last week, then you know. Um, but the past couple days, getting back into our consistent routine, he's been good. So we got back on track and I'm really hopeful of moving forward. So I think everything's gonna be okay, but I don't want to disturb him because he puts himself to sleep now. Like I'll just lay him in the bed, even when he's still awake, and sometimes he'll cry. Like tonight, he didn't even cry. He was so tired. He just I laid him down, and he just rolled over to the side and went to sleep. And he'll stay like that, and I leave him alone. <laughs> Alright, so I definitely need to pack a couple more things. And then I have to worry about my stuff too. This suitcase, I don't know what the heck. I don't know what the heck is in that suitcase, but we're gonna have to figure out something. Um, Alright, this is what we're working with so far. Oh. So we're just going to my family's in Charlotte which we were just there two weeks ago, but now we're going for Thanksgiving and we're not really doing anything crazy. Um, just having our family dinner and stuff, which I will vlog and show you guys. And yeah, so he really just needs like sleepers, um, sleepers and chill clothes. And then he has like a really cute outfit that one of my clients got him for Thanksgiving. Okay, I got all of Maverick's outfits for the weekend. Got nice and warm stuff, two jackets. Um, I don't even know. I, I just packed whatever. He'll be alright. Make sure he's his Thanksgiving outfit. Little preview there. All little sleepies PJs. Beanie. He has another beanie downstairs that he'll wear when we leave tomorrow. And then this is his car ride outfit. Just something comfy, cozy. Simple. Now I have to figure out what I want to wear. I don't know what's going on with my hair but I'm freaking tired. I don't even think I packed enough, but whatever. This is a lot. Yeah. All right, got diapers, both of our bags. Mavi is still asleep in his crib. So we're good. Now it's time for me to get ready for bed. I'm very, very tired. I have a really hard time um, getting myself ready to go see my family for Thanksgiving. Not because I don't want to see my family. I love seeing them. But I just have so much to do at home. Like, I cannot get caught up with the baskets of laundry. I just have crap everywhere. I just feel like I can't get caught up on anything. I can't get, I haven't done like a deep clean. There's just so many things that I want to do that I haven't been able to. And 
traveling is like the last thing I need to do right now. So I'm trying just not to think about it too much because it overwhelms the heck out of me. It really does. <clears throat> it's really hard when you have everything like every day. Um, it's really hard. And we just got out of like the really rough like initial stages of sleep training and everything. So I just feel like I haven't had a break guys. <laughs> and I'm tired. Um, so hopefully this weekend Mav stays happy and I can leave him like with my family because he's just been real clingy to me recently and I just want to be able to leave him and then maybe like go work out and do some work for my online clients so we'll see how it goes but I'm gonna get ready for bed and I will see you guys tomorrow it's travel day I feel so good because sleep training went so well last night if you want to see the video on last night's sleep training check my TikTok account but he's still asleep. He's literally still asleep in the bed. My mom is at home with him right now. I do have two clients today. I did not want to reschedule anybody because I'm just trying to stay on track. I really try not to reschedule anybody's training sessions um, because that's people's workouts. That's people's life and what I need to reschedule for. But I'm rested. I got sleep last night. I got my oxy shred and glutamine mix here, but I am kind of happy that I only have two clients today. A couple of people that I train are out of town. Um, so yeah, I'll do my two clients and then I'll get gas and go home to finish packing up last minute things. I have all of our clothes packed, but I need to like put my skincare and stuff. I kind of got everything together as I got ready this morning. Um, but obviously I had to get ready, so I couldn't do everything. And then I'll just have to make sure that Mavi's like bottles and stuff are packed up. My dog is going to one of my dad's friend's house. So I have to pack some of his food up. So now that I think about it, I actually do have a couple things to do after I get home. But that's okay. The goal is to get on the road by like 11 o'clock. It's 6.30 right now. So let's go train my clients and then we're going. So I'm finishing up packing. This is the part about traveling with me. You have to pack bottles. <laughs> my dad's about to take my dog to his friend's house. So I got Simba's weekend bag. I just packed him a blanket. His wet food, the dry food, a bone, and his shock collar just in case he starts acting a fool. Because these people, they don't have like a fence at their house. They just let their dogs out in the yard. But Simba will take off if you don't. If he has that collar on though, you just, mm, it beeps, vibrates, and then shocks. So I usually don't have to shock him, but once he hears that beep, he's like. <laughs> take um, three bottles and I'm gonna heat up some and save it in the insulated pouch of his diaper bag for the car ride. So he'll probably just need one bottle for while we're in the car. I'm taking a bowl and a couple spoons. Um, the other two bottles are formula. <sighs> Which we could do it. Be right. Be right. I also meal prepped for Mad this week, so we have butternut squash and sweet potato that I'm gonna take, and some chicken and carrots. And my grandma always has rice. They're Asian, so there's cooked rice literally 24 seven into the cooler for the car ride and then here's the bottles and the formula and my supplements as well because you know i'm not traveling without my oxy shred okay all right we got our extra hot water just so it stays hot for the ride i'm not going to mix the formula just yet and then that's it Let's see just how much i got to travel with so we got that and then all of this for a weekend. Make sure I get my camera charger so that I can keep vlogging. Wouldn't that be such a shame? <laughs> Road trip! Are we ready, Pear? Ready! Alright, y'all. We'll see you in a little bit. Let's go. Go bye bye. made it to North Carolina five and a half hours later we left at 11 30 is five o'clock 
Christmas. Are they next door? Okay. Ooh, but everybody's next door at the uncles. Wouldn't it make sense for y'all to look? She's got everything set. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it make sense for y'all to be in the bigger room since Dylan's here? Come on, buddy. Mr. McHale yeah. is in his diaper bag. Oh. Do you want to take the whole diaper? Did you bring the diaper? Yeah. Cutie Mill! You go in next door to see everybody? <laughs> Quick little pit stop because I need it. I'm just so stressed out with everything right now, so I just needed to step away for a second and run to the store. I forgot deodorant and a toothbrush and my legs are getting kind of hairy and I brought shorts to wear to the gym so I got some razors. I also snagged a bottle of Don Julio because I need it. Okay, I'm not gonna say I need it. That definitely sounds addict-like. Um, I would like to have a drink this holiday weekend. So, and to just, you know, take the edge off of this stress. <sighs> It's gonna be okay. I think the hardest thing for me right now is the anticipation of everything I have to do once I get home. Um, like the unpacking and stuff, just seeing how much we packed because we're gonna be here for five days. And so now I'm just like, oh my God, all that has to be unpacked, everything has to be washed, all the bottles, all the everything. I'm gonna have to get more formula. I'm gonna have to do this, I'm gonna have to do this, I'm gonna do this. It's like a never ending to-do list and I'm just tired. Like, I really, truly love coming to see my family. I've done it every single year. We do this every year, like, my whole entire life. But after having a kid, it's, like, things change, man. Things change. It is really freaking hard. Like, I feel like if I had help and I knew I was going to have help, like, you know, a partner, it would be a little bit easier. But everything is left for me to do. And everything is on me to do. So I think that's just the hardest part about it, honestly. Ooh. But on a positive note, so y'all know me and Mav are moving to our apartment in 37 days. It is 37 days away and I'm so freaking excited. I literally, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for us to be in our own space. I feel like I will feel like so much more of myself. I'll be able to parent how I want to, you know, as he gets older and stuff and it'll just be really nice. I really enjoy silence. I really enjoy not having to keep up with somebody's energy, several people's energy at that. And so I'm really excited to be in our own space. But um, a couple of y'all on TikTok asked me to make like a registry for the apartment. So I did, I made like an Amazon wish list registry, I guess, of some uh, just like apartment essentials that we'll need. Uh, so I'm gonna add that in the caption. If you wanna contribute to anything at all, please don't feel pressured to. I just, I appreciate any and everything. I appreciate y'all even asking me to do and make something like that like just the support that you show me and my baby is insane and i love taking you on this journey with us i love that y'all can watch him grow and watch our growth together my growth as a mother his growth obviously into being a little tiny human <sighs> i just went on a tangent <laughs> i think i'm just so like i don't even i i love I, I, I love my family y'all like i really do it's just me it's just I just need a second I'm always around people I never just have a second that's why I like to spend a lot of time in my car when I have time like this I'm like I just want to sit in my car and do nothing and talk to nobody so this is nice for a second um, but I'm definitely ready to go make a drink and eat so let's go come on styrofoam cup don't touch this cup because that's liquor uncles live literally right across the yard so that's where everybody's at right now i'm at my grandma's house before i go over there i just needed a second i feel like this drink is going to do everything i needed to so i got at the store some strawberry lemonade a little bit of that a little bit of don julio well, no, my dad's really the only one that's like cool, cool with it. Obviously, I'm an adult, so it's not like it's like, but like, I'm not just gonna go take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
y'all remember that video that lady's like two shots of vodka? <laughs> I was like, that's me. Ooh, chow. I don't know about that. So <laughs> much. Um, maybe I'll just do a little more. I like the color of that. That smells better. That smells a lot better. Look, she official. She got the lids. Let's go with a pink straw. Cheers. Let's go. Hey, baby, babe. <laughs> did you eat some you? Hey. He did. Oh, he ate a good sack. So we'll, we'll take this back home. Okay, love y'all. We'll put it. Mama. Mama chicken. Rice and beef. Also, he likes that too. I'm so glad that he's not picky with his food. That makes me happy. Hey! That's okay. <laughs> you like the noise? I don't know. Mimo, you having fun? You having fun with Papa? That first one was strange. He was just here. I know, he forgot us. Oh, you got tea. Terrence has some tea here. Huh. They have all the <gasps> I see that big boy. It's a Burmese noodle, Sal. Mm. I was cooking the noodles for, um... You want to taste it? Yeah. It's probably cold. That's okay. It's got cabbage and... Okay, we'll put it up. Wow. I mean, if, if oh, you want to put her in there, fine. If you don't want to, oh, fine. She can, he can sleep in the bed. Oh, I agree. Either way is what I'm saying. No, you're going to have a drink. Uh, wrong, wrong way. way. He went. Mav is unhappy. I'm setting up the pack and play. I can't do today. I just... Alright. I'm going to put a pillow in here for him. He likes pillows, so I got him set up oh. because sleep training doesn't stop, but just in case, we're at the bar, so we'll see how this holds up, but I think he'll be okay. I forgot so many things. I forgot all of his lotion and washes, and I forgot his silky. I forgot everything. <laughs> Literally everything. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Even though we did not sleep. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. We did not sleep. Yep. Would not sleep in the playpen. Would not sleep in the bed. I'm very, very tired. I was crying last night. <laughs> I was literally crying because I was just so upset that like... I feel like my sleep training progress with him is about to be lost. And he just wouldn't sleep. I'm so tired. Look at my happiest. Where's that baby butt? Where's that baby butt? Baby moo. Baby moo. Well, we're gonna try to. I'm gonna coffee and I'm helping my papa cook the cow swam. So that'll be fun. Um, I'm definitely gonna need a lot of coffee. And then we eat around like 12.30, so I'm just gonna have to tell everybody I'm sorry I'm gonna take a nap. I'm gonna need a nap real bad. Cause we were up at like 2 and then again at like 4.30 and he was up for like an hour at 4.30. I know. He's so fun. He was just tossing all night. Yucky yuck. That's a yucky yuck, Moo. Oh, yucky. 
Oops. Papa made you a pancake. And he almost finished the whole pancake. Yummy. Delicious. <laughs> My cutest. Delicious. My cutest little moon. Yeah. Yeah. Salu kaun la? Huh? Salu kaun la? Salu kaun ne no? Yummy. How do you say yummy? Salu kaun. Oh, is that what it is? Uh-huh. Oh. Tastes good. It's one word, but it has different... Yeah. Different American meanings to one Burmese word. Like it. Mary. Like it. Like it. Papa si la. La. Like it. Come here. Hey. Like it. Come here. Mary. Go to Papa. Come on. Oh, he'll eat it. He'll eat it. I was say he will go over and eat it. Like it. Yeah. Salut kaun en no. Salut kaun en no. Yeah. Biggest boy. I like these PJs because the footies have the little grips on the bottom. Oh, they have grip? Oh, mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. These are Burt's Bees. His, his hands are sticky, Sean. Uh-oh, I dropped my toy. This is the uh-oh song. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I dropped my... Morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> We're about to look. Look. We're about to start. Ooh. Okay. Come on, Ethan. This is what we're gonna do. Oh. Yeah. Don't come over unless you break it. Oh, this is new? I thought you didn't have this one before. No, we. Th uh, this is Mama's. Well, both of them are Mama's, but this is like for regular, normal use. But oh, we this gotta, is for. We're gonna this. do this like three to four times worth. Okay. This is like one time. One okay. Time's worth. I'll take that, Terrence. Put it somewhere. <laughs> Can I will make it? Oh, she wants to do it. Uh, I haven't done this in so long. Oh, you haven't? No. My mom never pulls hers out. Okay. Good. You start out, and once it gets to where it's really smashed good, then you can start. And to do it is, Caitlin. To make it easy on your hand, but the weight of this is what's going to pound it. So mm -hmm. you don't have to put like your force into it. Yeah, yeah, you just kind of like let it let it drop, but then you're very. Oh, you're holding. That's yourself. what I was doing at first. Oh, you were? Yeah. Oh, okay. But then I switched. Dilly Bowie. Yeah, that's so much better. More juices, and you kind of just incorporate that in there. Yeah. Oh. My eyes. Yeah, watch your eyes. No, it's not flat in my eyes. I'm like, they're like the water. Yeah, you, you take a break if you have to. Oh, no. Yeah. 
You okay? Yeah. All right. I'm going Is it okay that I'm scraping the bottom? Yeah. You don't have to do it all the time. Just kind of this, you know, this way. Do I keep stirring? Yeah. Stir. I need to hold this down so that yeah, yeah. So I can stir. Well, I was trying to be gentle. Okay, I need to turn the fire up. Crank it up. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. And so with curry, you just add the coconut milk to this? Yes, and water. You marinate the chicken overnight? Yeah. You did breast and thighs? Yeah. That's breast right there. Do you usually do breast and thighs or just thighs? Yeah, we do. Because a lot of people like breasts. Stir it real good down the bottom. We're going to work. You got some muscle into this. We got pea powder mixed with coconut milk and water. Paw, Paw, what is this? What was this one that was like the jelly like? That's split pea. Green split, split peas. Green split peas. That's, That's been funny. cooked and pureed. Okay. And this is roasted peas powder. And you mix it with coconut milk and then you mix this with coconut milk. Yes. Chicken's going. Coconut milk. started this on Monday. So we started roasting the peas powder and the green split peas on Monday. <laughs> and we're here. I was crying. My poor. We don't want anything to burn or stick because it'll ruin all this. Added in the green peas paste and half of the coconut milk and then a little bit of water. So we'll add in the other paste and Coconut, the rest of the coconut milk. After this comes to like a simmer. Everything's added, so now we wait. You're so cute! Hi! Say happy Thanksgiving! Okay, we're not, we're not with it right now. Curls are popping. What's the matter, my baby babe? What is it? Tell me. Tell me what you're feeling. Look how cute you are. We gotta show Derek and Brandon because they got this outfit for you. My clients. Clients. You so cute. <laughs> You got stuff I made for Juan's family. Oh, I oh, know. Hey, <laughs> you happy now? <laughs> and you're the cutest ever. You are. Hey, hey, Whee. we're doing <sighs> Maybe. You can't have this. <laughs> hey, buddy. Okay. Right, what I found. She needs to take it for a while or something. Oh, yeah. That's everybody. <coughs> okay. Uh, Shauna. Oh, she was having a phone look. Is somebody in the front row? Hello? Who is it? Who is that? To the front, though? Excuse The old people. Oh. Sit on the. Goodness gracious. Maybe it's not a snooze. Likes when everybody else is in the middle. Ah. 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 You don't do your bowl right. You don't do it right. I do. You don't do it right. You don't even have a bowl. I need your bowl. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I need it. your bowl picture. That's how you do it. Oh, I got you. This is how we do it. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'll try these these injections. Did you get that big pot in there? That's what you need. Oh, I filmed as we were cooking it. Oh, you did? Yeah. I can't wait to watch it. You know my friend Courtney? She does she she, she she watches all your stuff. Really? <laughs> Hey, Courtney. <laughs> yeah. Moo, moo. Say hi. Baby superstar. My son. My son. Yeah. He is a star. I was just thinking. You know, bombarded with all the little kitty germs. My baby is next door with everybody. I did not sleep last night, so I'm trying to take a nap. The makeup is giving though. I gotta add some pictures of me and Matt so y'all can see how cute we were. I ended up eating two gigantic bowls of food and some Oreo balls and a piece of red velvet cake. And I, every time I like squat down to get something, I literally feel like I'm about to bust the zipper off of my jeans. <laughs> I really wish there was a gym open tonight. Um, so I could let my food sit and then like go work out this evening, but I doubt it. I doubt it. Boo. But tomorrow, I'm going to the gym. I feel like a new person. Whew. I slept for like two hours. That was so good, I needed it. I Everybody's still next door. I think my baby's good. My baby's with the fam. I did not sleep last night. That was really rough. I literally was in tears last night just because I was like, oh my gosh, great. Like after the long day I had yesterday and just the anxiety that I was experiencing. And then I didn't sleep on top of that. I was like, <laughs> um, but I just slept for like two hours. It's like five o'clock now. And my baby's so like, so... I will say I'm feeling a lot better. Um, so maybe I was just sleep deprived because <laughs> I do feel a lot better about everything. I'm very happy to be here. I'm very happy to share that time with my papa today making the cow sway. Um, we've never eaten turkey on Thanksgiving. It's always been cow sway and I love that we do that in our family. And it's great. I hope I can just like make the cow sway by myself one year. That would be so fun. I love to cook. I love making Asian food too. It's like one of my favorite things to make. And my papa, she gave me the seal of approval today. So I feel legit. <laughs> Matt did really well around everybody too. He really did. Um, and then he took a nap which is good. The nap didn't last for very long. Um, but gosh, I needed that nap. I don't know what he's doing up there. But my pawpaw, so you know the green peas um, that like the that we mixed with the coconut milk to add? So she saved some of those green peas and she's gonna make a soup for Mav with like carrots and it's gonna be full of nutrients for him, which is just really good for his development. I always that's what I really try to do is just introduce him to foods that are clean and healthy and nutrient dense. And yeah, we don't really shy away from feeding him anything. Um, and I was like that as a kid. And now as an adult, I eat everything. I'm not picky. And so it's been really fun to make a bunch of different foods for him and see him eating all the foods that I ate when I was growing up. And keeping that bit of culture in him. He gets a lot of culture on both sides because even the food on his dad's side of the family, oh, the food is so good. I'm really excited for him to get older and to be able to tap into both sides of his culture and he just get, he gets good food on both sides, okay? He gets really good food on both sides. <laughs> I think the whole travel day yesterday was just way too much for me and now that we kind of settled in a little bit today, I do feel a little bit better, but I am sending love to all my single parents, really all my parents in general out there who are traveling with kids this holiday season or hosting holidays at your house. Um, cause it's just, it's a lot with kids. Everything in life is just a lot with kids and you know, you can love it all you want, but that doesn't 
take away the aspect of overwhelmedness or stress that you experience in some of those moments and it can be hard but we're doing it and to all the other parents that are doing it I'm so so proud of you keep going don't ever stop your babies are watching you and everything that you're doing is for them it's gonna pay off excited for y'all to continue watching me and Mav grow I love making these vlogs for you and also check out my shorter daily vlogs on my other socials I do post some on YouTube shorts um, but on my TikTok, my Instagram, follow me and give this video a like, subscribe to my channel and turn your post notifications on because we are back weekly for the vlogs, okay? Comment below, let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know what you want to see moving forward on my channel. I love you guys and we'll be back soon.